what are the changes you've seen in our bodies, our general bodies over yeah, the past over few the years? Yeah. Um, I think, I mean, I tend to see a, a very fairly well population. So this is a wellness center, you know, I, I see a lot of people that come in because they want to prevent injuries from occurring, but um, I see a lot of people over the years have more and more tension in their upper backs and their necks. Um, and there's two main things if we want to talk about that area that I've been seeing more and more often, and that's uh, the text neck, um, which is a, a flattening of the normal curve of the neck. Um, and then the other common thing I see a lot is the forward head posture. Um, so is that I think, because we're trying to look at the computer screen? Yeah, and I think to answer your question more specifically, over time, I think when blackberries were more, uh, you know, common, or, you know, I don't even know if they exist anymore, but I think that we used to see more of uh, these wrist and uh, thumb injuries because of the pressing down. And I think that's gotten a little less common, although obviously, you know, wrist and hand injuries are still um, occur, but I think over time we've seen less of those and more of the neck, um, you know, postural issues. And I think it's because also the devices have just gotten more and more addictive and um, people are spending just more time on them versus just the, the clicking away yeah. injuries. I think the first time we spoke you said when you started you didn't really notice much in people's forearms. Yeah. But over the years, maybe when blackberries yeah. came into exactly. more yeah. of our lives, yeah. you, you just started noticing a lot yeah. more tension in the forearms. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. So I've been a physical therapist for a long time. When I was in school, I didn't think we'd have to even use computers. So it's been a long, you know, uh, evolving process of, you know, what you see people suffering from, for sure. Yeah. Um, so that's one thing. The other thing, as far as your neck goes, um, is to specifically for the um, forward head posture is to do this exercise mm -hmm. of chin tucks yeah so you're pulling your chin in as your chin comes in it sort of dips down people don't like to look at it because it's you know not very pretty <laughs> you're crossing what we don't want but yeah your neck is contracting the back of your again the base of your skull is lifting up and stretching and you're contracting in front. So that's another really good one. So contracting here, lengthening here. Mm -hmm. That one you should do every hour if you can. Okay. Yeah. So I'm imagining in my, before I became a mother and I worked outside the home, mm -hmm. I would never be able to do this at my yeah. desk. Yeah. You could go to the bathroom. Absolutely. And yeah. do it. Yeah. Yeah. In your private and, spot. Yeah. Right, right, exactly. And even if I'll do this even on the subway sometimes, but I don't have any shame. But, you know, if I feel myself doing this, I'll sit up, I'll tuck my chin, just do it once. And then you kind of reset yourself, and then you relax, and then you're back to normal. So yeah. that's something you don't have to do one, two, you know, you don't have to yeah. do it ten times. You can just, if you feel yourself doing this, or when you're driving, yes. um, and you feel yourself, you know, yeah. forward, pull everything back. Mm -hmm stretch it out, contract here, and then just relax. And then you're back to, you know, more or less okay. normal. 